If we take a look at the technologies that we have pioneered as engineers here on Earth, what we have already accomplished is unbelievable and amazing. From modern medicine to space flight to telecommunications, the internet, everything we have done in this modern era has happened in such a short amount of time. Despite the progress in technology and innovation, we still face many large challenges right now as humankind. From global climate change to the destruction of our rainforest, plant and animal species, as well as our global education accomplishments, accomplishments, we still have a lot of work to do. And there are teams from all around the world working on solving these grand challenges, most of which are comprised of many engineers, some roles that are very similar to what you can achieve in your career. And one of the most important facets of career fulfillment and happiness in your life is the ability to make an impact, to make a difference. So in this video, we're talking about how engineers can change the world and we're starting right now. Hey guys, Jake here. On this channel, we talk about engineering, student and career advice. So if this is you, make sure you subscribe. And let's get started in talking about some of the biggest engineering accomplishments and challenges the world has ever seen with one of my favorite organizations that we can put under a microscope to learn more about how you can change the world, which is the XPRIZE Foundation. The XPRIZE Foundation runs incredible large-scale competitions around the world that set very clear, measurable objective goals. The first person to build, demonstrate this capability wins the prize money and the world gets the benefits. The XPRIZE was created in 1996 by one of my favorite engineers, Peter Diamandis, who was a Harvard-educated medical doctor and aerospace engineer from MIT. Active competitions include the $20 million Carbon XPRIZE, the $10 million Rainforest XPRIZE, $10 million Avatar competition, $6 million Rapid COVID Testing Initiative, and the $5 million IBM Watson AI for Good competition. What the XPRIZE does is they incentivize engineering and innovation by creating large grand challenges. Zanusha Ansari is the CEO of XPRIZE, which sponsors competitions to solve the world's challenges. Competitions and prizes can actually bring innovation to solve not just any problem, but really big, challenging problems. I think we're about setting a high bar. You want to set a goal for people that's inspiring, but it's also hard. When we're designing an XPRIZE, we're looking for something that is audacious and achievable. For example, if you have a $10 million prize, what commonly happens is all these teams will spend about $100 million just to accomplish this goal. They don't really care about the cash prize, they care about winning. Competition always fuels bigger feats, bigger accomplishments, and Peter Diamandis has figured this out with the XPRIZE initiative. It dates back to a model that was created in 1919 when Orteg created the Orteg Prize, which is why Charles Lindbergh flew a single engine plane 3,600 miles and 33 and a half hours, being the first person to do a solo transatlantic flight, which it took eight years and teams spent $400,000 of technological development in order to achieve this prize. The XPRIZE is doing this at scale over and over again, today creating accomplishments, like in 2004, when the first actual XPRIZE initiative was complete, again, eight years later from 1996 to 2004, Tons of teams from all around the world spent $100 million. On October 4th, 2004, XPRIZE captured the world's attention by awarding the $10 million Ansari XPRIZE, the largest prize in history for their Spaceship One, led by famed aerospace engineer and designer Bert Rutan and his company Scaled Composites. With financial backing by none other than Paul Allen, this was Bill Gates, co-founder of Microsoft, and the team made engineering history. The technology was afterwards licensed by Richard Branson to create Virgin Galactic. Galactic. With awarding of this competition, a brand new $2 billion private space industry was launched. Elon Musk was already working on SpaceX at this time for two years because it was founded in 2002. Teams from all around the world were challenged to build a reliable, reusable, privately financed manned spaceship capable of carrying three people, 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface, and doing this twice in two weeks. Since then, XPRIZE has organized a series of sponsored competitions focused on technologies ranging from 
super efficient automobiles to Star Trek inspired medical tricoders and wearable safety devices, ocean oil cleanup technologies and anti-acidification, rainforest protection, global education, carbon capture projects, AI for good initiatives and more. We're taking a look at the X Prize because I have never seen an initiative create so much attention and momentum around engineering initiatives that can literally change the world. So in this video, let's take a look at three big projects that you can work on as an engineer or just examples of ways that engineers can change the world with the first project we're gonna look on, which is X Prize Rainforest. X Prize Rainforest is a $10 million prize and this project phase is happening right now. They just started. The chair of the board is Marcelo Fortado, a chemical engineer, what do you know? Teams will participate in a four-year global competition that calls on innovators to create technology capable of identifying and cataloging rainforest biodiversity and develop insights that may lead to a new bioeconomy through standing forests. There's approximately 7,000 medical compounds that come out of our rainforest and National Geographic reported in 2011 that they think that 86% of species all around the globe have not yet been discovered. 2,100 plants identified by the United States National National Cancer Institute have potential anti-cancer properties and are only found in the rainforest. So if so few things have yet to be identified on this planet, and we know that most of them come from the rainforest, and so many of these medical compounds and things that we can use as humankind come from the rainforest, then we are making a big mistake by not protecting it. So this XPRIZE initiative is awarding teams who are working on these initiatives to save the rainforest. In 2019, deforestation in the Amazon hit the highest rate on record and it is predicted that at the current rate of deforestation by 2030 over a quarter of the Amazon will be lost. Rainforests once covered 14% of the planet and now they cover only 6%. Two countries have almost 50% of the rainforest which is Brazil and Indonesia. Everybody talks about the Amazon rainforest and this area is under particular amounts of danger today. The Rainforest X Prize will reward teams that can develop efficient new technology to capture the true biological diversity of rainforest and further layer additional data to show the value of protecting the natural resources within them. The teams of Rainforest X Prize will develop sophisticated technologies to inventory rainforest biodiversity faster, affordably, and in unprecedented detail in challenging harsh environments, delivering insights to support the sustainable use and well-being of the standing forest. Interdisciplinary teams can use emerging technologies such as robotics, remote sensing, data analysis, artificial intelligence, and machine learning to survey biodiversity, deal with the challenge of harsh environment and demonstrate that these ecosystems are worth preserving. As you can see, a lot of these technologies and aspects within these initiatives are things that engineers can work on, whether you be a mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, computer engineer, even civil engineers can get involved at the environmental level and beyond. This is an initiative that I think everyone should be paying attention to. And if you're an engineer today and you want to change the world, have an impact and make tomorrow a better place for your family, your society, and the entire planet, this is a type of problem project that you can have hopes and dreams to work on one day. Let's take a look at project number two, which is a global learning initiative that ended in 2019, which was a $15 million prize. Before COVID-19, one in five children that's ages from 12 and under did not have access to school. That's 260 million children. That's children who cannot read, copy a word, or do basic single number arithmetic at all. These are things that us in the Western world certainly take for granted. So in 2014, this global learning initiative was launched where 198 teams from 40 countries worked on gamified learning applications and the top five finalists had their technologies disseminated into 170 different villages in Tanzania. 3,000 different students used this technology, which was just a simple tablet and application that was not connected to the internet for only one hour per day. And after 15 months of this, just over a year, these students had the equivalent of about a year's worth of full-time school. Half the students were essentially literate after this, with 45% of these students being able to read and write a single word, and 30% of them being able to read full sentences. 65% of them could do basic math and 65% of them could copy a single word. This is an unbelievable amount of progress with just one hour a day and a simple tablet, 3,000 of them distributed into communities where these students had never seen these technologies before. I was just north of Tanzania a few years ago in Kenya and I had my computer 
computer and my camera equipment and all of these children would come up and crowd around me because they had never seen this before. They would learn in English about how to use a computer and how to use a tablet. I saw it on the chalkboards, but having access to such learning material can change everything. And now look at what has happened with COVID-19. There's over a billion children who don't have access to school because of this. And it's technologies like this and project teams that these engineers have amplified that have enabled students and children from all around the world to actually get a better education. Pilots have now been launched all over the world in many different countries. And the reason why this is such a big deal is because economic sustainability and pushing a developing nation forward to keep up with the Western world is so heavily reliant on reading, writing, and math skills that if these children miss those first 12 years, they will never be able to catch up. Again, all types of engineers can work on these types of technologies, particularly people in working in software, but we still need mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, computer, civil engineers, aerospace engineers working on these global education initiatives. So if you're interested in this, this is another example of a type of career that you can have literally changing the world and helping children from all over the globe. Okay, project number three is a carbon capture project. There's a $100 million venture set up by Elon Musk and the Musk Foundation. If you didn't think that he was doing enough, look at him and his philanthropic arm. On January of 2021, his first day in office, President Joe Biden signed several important orders that have a monumentous impact on the environment. One of these was an executive order for the U.S. to rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement. Forged in 2015, the agreement or the Paris Accord is an international pact to fight climate change and includes hundreds of countries from around the world, each setting their own goals to curb emissions and slow low global warming. The aim is to not exceed two degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and ideally to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. XPRIZE carbon removal is aimed at tackling the biggest threat facing humanity, fighting climate change and rebalancing Earth's carbon cycle. Funded by Elon Musk and his foundation, this $100 million competition is the largest incentive prize in history an extraordinary milestone. The world's leading scientists estimate that we may need to remove as much as six gigatons. A gigaton is one billion tons of carbon of CO2 per year by 2030 and 10 gigatons per year by 2050 to avoid the worst effects of climate change. For humanity to reach the Paris Agreement goal of limiting the Earth's temperature rise to no more than 1.5 C of pre-industrial levels, we need bold, radical tech innovation and scale that goes beyond limiting CO2 emissions, but actually remove CO2 already in the air and oceans. If humanity continues on a business as usual path, the global average temperature could increase by six degrees Celsius by year 2100. If you want to know what that looks like, about 50% of the world's population lives right at sea level. And a six degree Celsius rise in temperature would mean that sea levels will have dramatically risen and this will displace billions of people all around the world and be a chaotic, catastrophic situation. And we will not be able to sustain this anymore. So this is a big, challenge and a big problem. This four-year global competition invites innovators and teams from anywhere on the planet to create and demonstrate solutions that can pull carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere or oceans, ultimately scaling massively to gigaton levels, locking away CO2 permanently. Solutions will be scientifically evaluated across multiple criteria such as amount of CO2 removed, life cycle analysis of the removal process, energy efficiency, land footprint, and sequestrian capabilities. Any carbon negative solution is eligible. Nature-based, direct air capable, oceans, mineralization, or anything else that sequesters CO2 permanently. These types of initiatives are massive for the $100 million prize pool that is the carbon capture initiative. As you can see, you can have chemical engineers, civil engineers, electrical, computer, mechanical engineers, all working on these different technologies and systems and analytical tools that will be the carbon capture technologies that push the needle forward and make sure that we can actually hit our goals within the Paris Climate Accord. So these these are some examples of how engineers can change the world, whether you be electrical, computer, mechanical, civil, aerospace, chemical, material science, whatever you may be, you can get involved with some of these initiatives. I hope that you do. That's one of the beautiful things about being an engineer is that we can make an impact. We can make a difference. We can change the environment. We can change communities. And we really can be proud of the things that we work on in our careers. So I encourage you to take a look at the X Prize, get inspired, talk about things like these great initiatives out there in the world. And pursue them for your career. If you're a young engineer and you care about your student and career success, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. If you have any questions about your engineering journey, comment below because I'm answering 100% of comments nowadays. Leave a like on this video, it helps so much. We have over 140 videos on this channel, so go ahead and check out another episode and we'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.